had just rescinded their endorsement of Day B. They knew that these concessions were coming at the beginning of the year, and they endorsed it anyway in the primary. I ran for mayor as a city worker. I was the only worker on the ballot to represent the workers in this city. I want to unite black, white, Hispanic workers together in a common fight against the rich people. We are not alone in this fight. There are workers, there are state workers, everybody around the country is being laid off. Chicago, Los Angeles, California. So we have to understand that we have to unite with all those other workers and come together. But the way it's going to be done is that we have to understand who are our friends and who are our enemies. What I'm saying is that we need to establish a new political party of our own that's made up of workers, unemployed people, union, non-union, students that's going to fight for social equality. I'm saying the banks and the utility companies should be under workers' control, that the workers should run society, not the rich people. The rich people are My name is Dark Tanya. I work at the sewage plant. I'm a union person. My money is just as good as everybody else. Am I right? This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. They came to cause confusion. The city workers who have always been there, the city workers have, have gone along and not complained when they asked us for concession after concession after concession. Now the, the buck stops here. It's time for us to just tell them, look, no more. No more. No more stealing. It's time. The real, the, the real status quo is the person that's in there right now. He represents the real status quo. Go ahead and tell him, shut this down. I told you, shut the water off to MGM, shut it off to Creek Town in Motor City for one day. And I bet you they call him and tell him, pay the people. And shut them damn casinos down, but it's open. Straight open. Done deal. It's, it's wrong. A lot of workers need that on the weekends. I work at a fast food joint, and 90% of the people catch the buses on the weekend. What? How that does for our economy is it makes it more worse. You're not helping us, you're hindering us. Well, I don't trust this administration because of that. Because it's the same people backing Bing who backed the Kilpatrick administration.